Hello, Michael Kinsley here again, and I'm gonna go through the shopping cart with you. And I'm gonna go into the last shipping method, and this is my little favorite. Um, shipping, free sh shipping is quite good. You can add the cost in, flat rate per item, but the weight-based shipping is first class. So we're going to edit. And basically, I'm going to bring this up in Notepad for you, so you can actually see this. Now, if you set this up correctly, all your products will follow. And this is for your medium range businesses who are selling huge products and whatever. So the five there is the weight, and that's the cost. So you got five, the cost, seven kilos, five kilos, seven kilos, 12. As you can see here, put down 10 kilos. I'll copy that there. And I've done that for a reason. And I will comma that and paste it in there. And you need to set these all up for your different zones. Um, if you're just selling from the UK, you need to bother having the German zones just the UK one so basically 10 kilos is 20 25 kilos so falls into certain ranges and you can set this all out so you know the weights of your products if you're selling a hundred bricks you know the weight of it if a ton something weighs a ton that will be a thousand kilos well there's a hundred a hundred euro just say you want to ship it or 200 euro you want to ship it that way that's the way it is if you're just shipping if you're shipping internationally then you're better off uh, putting on a bit more here maybe adding a bit more into the you know put the item you probably have to go into the, some of the shipping uh, international shippers and get all their rates and all this kind of stuff so we'll just close that down and we'll save that oh sorry I never got I need to go back into that for you and just show you the rest of that so basically, you just enable, enable it, enable it. It's either disabled or enabled. Taxable goods, yes or no. Enable status is enabled. And you just save it. So now, we'll go in and all your products now are based on weight. Your diggers, your iPhones, whatever it is. You can put in 500 grams for these. And basically, it all works out. If you have a warehouse, then you have on the, on the boxes how much each box weighs, 25 kilos, 20 kilos, 15 kilos, but well then you can put in a price per kilo, per shipping. So I'm going to buy this laptop here, okay? I'm going to buy one, and then I'm going to buy two of them, okay? So I'm going to go through the motions of buying one, and then I'm going to go into basket, and I'm going to go through to check out. Notice the way it's got the VAT there. And it's got the UK shipping 5 kilos. Yep, we'll have that. And we'll go cash on delivery, terms and conditions, and continue. So you can see the breakdown here. It's 1,000. We've got the shipping. We've got the VAT. And we've got everything in there. So then we can confirm the order, go through with it, job done. So we'll go back to basket now and we'll clear that out. Now, I want to buy two of them. And because I've set up here, this is most important that you remember this now. I've set it up that it's 10 kilos, 7 kilos. So it's anything that weighs, if a combined order is over seven kilos it won't let you sell it the shopping cart won't let you sell here okay so that's basically about it so I've actually set that up with 10 kilos so I'm gonna buy now two of these if I went to buy three of them it wouldn't let me do it so because you've set up the kilos in weights you've set up the weight now I've got two of them there so we're going to basket and we're going to check out 
again it's shown see the way it's up to 20 20 euro because it's 10 kilos so I can actually go ahead and buy that but I'm going to clear the basket and I'm going to show you if you don't set it up correctly that if I go to buy five of them so I go into buy say quantity three okay yep it will let me go through the shopping cart go to basket and then go to checkout but you don't see the shipping that's because the shipping has not been set here if I put that in there now comma 15 and uh, say for instance 17 okay so I'm gonna set that up now so right there 15 17.00 you can do fine save it now if I refresh that it won't let me because you need to go back in and clear the order out so let's go into basket and let's delete it and if I've done this correctly I can actually buy three of them remember I've got a hundred in stock or whatever ten in stock three check out and there you go 17 euro so that's it so you can set your discounts on in there and you can have a handling fee as well which I haven't got to yet basically I haven't got them only just going through the shopping cart and basically giving you the rundown on uh, before I even upload any products so just to recap on that the flat rate free shipping per item is quite good I haven't used the Royal Mail and I haven't used the, the United States parcel service but the weight based shipping if you set up the actual your products carefully there I mean the shipping rates will be near enough the same I mean depending on the box sizes but you shouldn't be losing out on the shipping rates I mean you should be just you know given the correct shipping rates for them and that's basically about it and then once you have that done then you need to check out I forgot to do one thing all the totals if these are not enabled you won't be able to do any of the above so hopefully when you get your shopping cart that I have these enabled I'll be going through it and make sure that everything's just done there but if it's not you just go in and enable them again it's just a case of edit enable but the handling fee is a good job the low order fee shipping enabled subtotal enabled taxes and total coupon enabled so the coupon we haven't gone through yet but we're starting to get into more elaborate ways of the shopping cart itself <coughs> and that's basically about it I mean you're starting to now the next stage will be the categories to make sure you have all them right and then we can start on the products and then once you have your products and all your weight set I mean you're basically up and running and that's you it's just a case of Google finding you somebody finding you through Google or Yahoo or Bing or an independent search engine liking your products liking your website buying and that's the name of the game okay then thank you